this is related to uh, the comic discussion. Just I don't know if you're aware of this, D.I. The, the current head of long-term WWE creative, his name is Rob Fee. Okay? Do you know where he came from? Oh. Marvel Comics. Daredevil, The Avengers. He's been there at least two years from what I just uh, researched. So big comic book influence over there, of course. Um, Conan, did you did you guys watch Raw? Yeah. Yes. Now, okay. I, so I'm, I went. I, I just um, browsed through this. I watched the uh, the Hulu version. Took an hour and a half, right, bro? They they left they left out a lot of content you would have thought would have been on the thing. So so a lot of stuff. I guess some good stuff happened on this show that I didn't get to see. We'll talk about it. And they did a so one point seven two five, and I'm putting the quarters up now. But that was off USA. So that's right. really, really good. Oh, doing, oh, it's, it's after, yeah. Yeah. There's, there, there's general interest in the product right now. Right. Okay. Um, so there, and then, bro, I want to make this point. The, the ratings right now, between now and the end, the, the ratings are actually irrelevant. Okay. They're doing, they've got so much exposure on social media. All right. And they've already got their new deal and they're just in a lame duck window right now of, of, uh, of ending with, the, with, uh, with USA and, and Fox. So, so it doesn't. It, honestly, they could do a, They could do 1.3 million people, and that's irrelevant because they're sitting on a, 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 a what you call it, a 2.5 billion dollar uh, rights fees deal coming coming right up with Netflix here. That that they've they've already got them. They've already got the money for. So it's like it's not really. It doesn't really matter what they do. The the way you measure the WWE right now is if you start seeing empty seats in the arenas of the TV tapings because bro, everything is packed right now. And they're still breaking records. Those metrics have not slowed down at all, and so it so the actual rating from from if from any wrestling promotion standpoint is it doesn't really make my, that much of a difference right now, regardless of what Vince Russo says. Well, let me so, give you a little uh, info on another metric here that I just saw. Would on you agree, would you agree with that Conan? Do I want to come to that? Yeah, I think you're right. What what is it that you said Vince Russo saying? I didn't understand. Well, that I didn't think with it. Well, perfect example. Just Vince thinks everything's like like I said this past week's show sounded pretty good, and he goes, I go, let me take a wild guess. Well, what did you think? He said it sucked. And I'm like, all right, so, bro. What, what, we'll get to this. We'll, we'll, we'll give you Vince's take on some of the things that that, that happened. But, uh, right. but his his criticisms are so nitpicky and just not even the, the, his his opinions on these things are irrelevant. Like, you know, because like, well, he, he his audience wants him to be negative, kind of. So if right, he's yeah, negative, he and he's doing, well, he just feeds into it because know, he doesn't. Well, one of his comments we'll talk about coming up is completely illogical. It's just so so. How absurd. could you have an audience that thinks WWE is bad? He does because Vince tells him it's terrible. And I'm trying to explain to Vince, Vince, how much worse could they be doing? Like, how are they doing bad? There's they're any they're if setting you were, records. If you, were, every, if you were writing the show right now, you would be bragging about how good you're doing and how good the show is because right. the readers are filling it and, and they're, you're breaking the attendance record. So, how could you say this sucks? Like, <laughs> it's like, you know, if you were writing this and you were saying this show sucks and you were selling out. And, 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 you know, setting records, the people would think you were an imbecile. But do you, know? you think yeah. that, so the people that listen to a show, they respect them so much as a writer that because he's telling them the show isn't written good, no, they're no. believing him. He's an entertaining listen. Yeah. Like if you listen to Vince's stuff and he's very, right. he's on our show. He's entertaining. He, right. He's very like his burials of the show are very, like he's entertaining. He's, he's, right. he's a good, he's a, Vince is a very good podcaster. He brings it. He doesn't right. shy away. He tells it like so. It's like you know when you live. It's like Cornette. You know Cornette buries people, but but it is an entertaining listen. I know I don't right. agree with everything the guy says, but like there's certain podcasters that are just you know you see these nerd podcasts and these guys are just you right. know. So he's entertaining to listen to bearing right. WWE. Okay. Right. Right. So okay, another so, uh, metric that I wanted to bring the DI's attention here because this is this is irrelevant to TV ratings because this is going to be its own thing forever and ever is the top YouTube videos of July. Right. And, you know, pay attention to the names that keep getting brought up here. It's pretty, pretty fascinating. Okay. So number one clip, 3.374 million, uh, Rhea, Rhea Ripley's return. Okay. Two was that WrestleMania behind the curtain special. Of course, three was the money to bank highlights Four, uh, Rhea to dirty Dom. You're mine. Well, the numbers though, Joe. Uh, well, okay. Yep. So the, the, the first one was 3.3, almost 3.4 million WrestleMania behind the curtain, 2.76. Oh, money it the, goes lower. All right. Yeah. Money in the bank right. highlights, 2.46. But anyway, so Rhea to Dom's four. Liv destroys the Judgment Day's property. Right. Five. Uh, Dirty Dom breaks Liv's heart. Six. Right. Punk and Rollins. Seven. 
Punk Rollins and McIntyre eight. Cena announces retirement uh, is nine, and Dominic is caught in the compromising position ten. So the Dom Liv Rhea stuff is all over the top ten clips. Right. Uh, then CM Punk makes his entrance, and basically he's cutting a babyface promo. So the night wasn't guaranteed because the injury suffered the rumble. And Punk said he was told the injury would sideline him for nine months, but he was able to come back in five. Uh, that's actually not true. If I, like I did, uh, did we talk about how you can Google injury right, information? Yeah. yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. So that was fit. He's he's putting himself over, but that you know, from, from a technical standpoint, that, that was the exact amount of time that he should have recovered from. Um, Punk put over McIntyre's size. He called him a tough. Took issue with McIntyre telling lies about me to make him feel better about himself. Said he's happy because he's back and SummerSlam was just a start. Said the road to Summer to WrestleMania started SummerSlam and he asked where he, if he stayed down when he lost a match or a championship. Punk said the summer didn't start the way he wanted, but it's the summer and the fans in Baltimore deserve less talking and more Punk fighting. He called for round two. And Seth comes out and basically Seth comes out, stops at the, at the end of the aisle, stares at Punk with a very serious look on his face, takes his jacket off and drops it. And says, uh, after 10 long years, it's time for me to put you in the dirt. And he's going to like, so they're getting ready to fight. Okay. The Rollins went to end the ring, but Punk stood near the corner. And then Rollins, are you going to let me in the ring? And then Drew spoke from the crowd in the stands, in the, in the aisle up in the stands. Uh, he said, uh, um, McIntyre said, Punk proved that he still has it, but he's no longer the best in the world. I am. Uh, then Punk and Rollins continued to stare at one another while Drew's talking up in the stands. And McIntyre said he knew how to get their attention. And he held up Punk's bracelet and mentioned his wife and dog, and that got Punk's attention. Punk jumped out of the ring and went after him up in the stands. Okay, so then Seth left there lying in the ring by him, been standing in the ring by himself, and turned around. And Bronson Reed came out of nowhere and attacked him, laid him out, uh, and set that a small comeback, but then he hit him with that Death Valley driver thing, then two sentons. Then he gave him a, like three tsunami splashes. Then the referees and producers ran out, and he was going to walk to the back, but he went back in the ring and gave him like three more. And they did the gimmick where Punk was like spitting up blood. Uh, and this got a good pop for the crowd because they couldn't believe what they were seeing, actually. It was like, you know what Vince told me? out of This, cause this was Vince's take on this segment, okay? Because Punk, Rollins, uh, Bronson Reed got good. Vince said, that number one, he said this was getting a baby face reaction. I was like, bro, that wasn't a I baby face that. reaction. That was just like the people were, were popping because it was a it was a good angle. Like it's like yeah, it was a, it was devastating what, what he was doing. He was like squashing the guy. It wasn't right. like he was getting cheered. I did not know? get like, that out of that. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. And then he said this angle sucks because we know they're just feeding him like they did with Nakamura to, to Seth, and everybody's going to forget about the guy six weeks from now. Well, how do you know like, that? Like, that's happens. from my point. I'm like, dude, that's your take. That's why you don't like this, because you think it's a repeat of the, the Nakamura angle. I go, this right. is good television. This did not suck. Like, you think it is. So, yeah, Vince is he's, – he's, he's got clueless takes on this. So, um, so what did you think of this whole segment? Oh, very well done. What a way to what a what a way to make um, Bronson Reed interesting again. Yeah, he did. Yeah, almost kinda, like he's, he's got a basic move too. He just jumps off the thing. He just gets to the top. No, of but he's a good worker yeah. for a big yeah. guy, bro. Yeah, good selling by Seth too. Excellent, by the way. Yeah. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content. And being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you for riding with us. I know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.